I'm standing by the entrance of the architecture masterpiece that withholds the historical memory of the Omani inheritance, which was preserved for hundreds of years. This historical monument is located at the heart of Boshar in Masqat and it is called the al Zahir House. Sheikh Badr, thank you so much for welcoming us today at Beit al Zahir. We're here to discuss uh, a little bit of the monument of this uh, beautiful home. And uh, we would like to know more about it um, in terms of its history, its, uh, why was it built, who was living here. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure, Lebna. Thank you for coming over, you and your team. Uh, a little bit of history about the Zahir House. Uh, Dahar House was built somewhere in 1920s. That would be my guess. I'm not exactly sure of the date. Uh, the reason of its building was uh, because of the political situation back in the 1900s, 1913 or so, when there was a besiege of the Ismail um, fort by the Imamate uh, power. The uh, agreement was uh, that Said Nader will leave the uh, fort along with the people and come back to Masqat. However, to guarantee his uh, safety, somebody will have to accompany him from Samail to Masqat. And that somebody happened to be our grandfather. So he left along with uh, Said Nader at that time. And the agreement was no one will enter the um, fort or the castle of Samail until about a month or so. However, when they have reached uh, the town of al Khol, some news came to them and uh, they were informed that the imamate power went into the castle. And at that moment, Sheikh uh, have felt like, okay, it's not a good idea to go, to go back to Samail and he preferred to stay in Masqat. So he stayed in Masqat and as an, in, an, in his honor, uh, Sayyid uh, Sultan Taymur decided to uh, start or establish the wilayat of Wadi, Bo Wadi Boshar. And he has appointed Sheikh Ali to be the wali of uh, Wilayat Wadi Boshar, at that time known as Wilayat Wadi Boshar. And that's when Sheikh Ali started considering building this house in al Dahir area, which is uh, at the front of Wilayat Boshar. As you know, Boshar is, uh, is a big wilayat. Uh, if you go back into, let's say, 20 years or 30 years back, where we are right now, this was almost the end of Boshar as a village as we know it. After that, from where you came from, the main road, where Masqat uh, Hospital, they were all sand dunes. And uh, it was like driving or, or, or walking or, or moving into a desertous area. Uh, it was very difficult for people to move back and forth from that location. So this is the, the, the why Sheikh uh, Ali decided to build this. In, in. So he lived in this house? He lived in this house. Him and his sons lived together in this house, yes. And uh, back then, Sheikh Ali, he was uh, a representative of this uh, state? Back then, Sheikh Ali was the wali of the wilayat of Boshar, which almost represented His Majesty the Sultan and uh, was like a governor of the whole area. He was like a governor? Yes, yes. And um, so he lived here with his family. It was like a, it's like a home and an office? Like it he was used to a, run it, it the was, government? Yes, you are right. It was a home for the family and it was also an office for the government, which uh, had the barza, which as we know it, or the, the majlis, where the wali meets and the judge meets and there, you know, whatever happens in between the public or that needs, needs uh, some kind of a decision, it was all 
uh, taken care of there in the in the Barza during the meeting of uh, the Wali and the Qadi. There is also something that uh, I would like to mention that the place where we are sitting right now here is actually not a majlis, it is a jail. Back, How, back, back then, the yes, yeah. yes. And uh, you can see it's not a big jail, it's about maybe three by, by four meters at the most, which gives an indication of the little crimes that we have at that time. Yeah, yeah that's fascinating. Tell us a little bit about the architecture divisions of the house. What does it consist of in general? Well, it's like a typical Omani house, sort of, in terms of the rooms. We have the, the rooms downstairs. We have a little of uh, what we call it, uh, mabras or the liwan or uh, a hall. And from it, uh, there are the other rooms that uh, are in different uh, parts of the, of the house. There is the upstairs and there is the third floor as well with one room. Um, the house contained um, a water well, it contained uh, stables for horses, it contained some type of uh, pool for irrigation and also for uh, shower taking or swimming. Uh, there was uh, one uh, for ladies and one for gents, uh, farming around it, and uh, basically it's a, almost a self-contained uh, house. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure it's been renovated and maintained ever since. So can you tell me a little bit about the changes that might have happened? Or I noticed that I'm sure it's managed to stay the same, but there is a little bit of modern enhancements into the building. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, yes. Um, back in 1970, when uh, my father was assigned as uh, ambassador to Saudi Arabia, ambassador of Oman to Saudi Arabia, by his majesty, late majesty Sultan Qaboos, uh, and in order to sort of come closer to electricity and uh, and water and roads and we moved to a closer place to these amenities, to al -Ghubra. At that time, the house started to deteriorate slowly, slowly, until uh, 2012, there was nobody living in the house. In 2012, we decided to renovate it, to restore it. However, we knew that we needed to uh, put some amenities, we needed to put electricity, we needed to put uh, toilets, we needed to put a, an elevator in it, yeah, and air conditioning, all these had to be incorporated. So it was a big task for us to think about how we are going to do about it. We have to sacrifice something for something, right? So we have done that. In 2015, I believe we have completed the restoration. We have put furniture, we have put all the electricity, all the air conditioning, all the water supplies, and we have put a lift. Right now I can see even though there is major renovations, uh, but it still looks very traditional. Like you, you didn't get rid of the traditional aspects, the traditional decor, the cultural touches in all the building. It still looks like uh, maybe like how it was, but in a modern touch to it. So it's very, very beautiful. And I'm sure nobody lives uh, right now in this house. Uh, nobody lives in it permanently. However, we do meet in it once in a so while. So it's like a it's like a it's a place where your family gather weekly or monthly. It's like a we, we during the Eid holidays, during some festive seasons, we get together once in a while. We do meet on a weekly basis. We 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 have always wanted to keep it as a center for the family. We always wanted it also to look the same as before except with the amenities I've told you about. And uh, we have tried our best to make everything look the same as it used to be. Yeah. So are you thinking that um, this house could ever be like an open door museum uh, for uh, tourists or from any, for anyone who wants to have it at like a historical or a cultural aspect? You know, because there's a lot of history and memories to this home. So do you think that there will be ever a schedule for um, people to come and visit and see? There is a plan. 
to do so. However, uh, it's not yet been decided how and when to start it. Uh, right now, there are people that liaise with us directly, and once in a while, they will be They're invited welcome and welcome to, to come and, and look at it. So, so far, it's a private uh, home? So far, it's a private home, but open for uh, individuals who liaise with us and uh, come and look at it. We, we are open to that. We have uh, pleasure to show them around. Thank you so much, Sheikh Badr, for welcoming us again to Beit al -Dahar. And it's been wonderful. Thank you so much for the tour and for your time. And we're looking forward to meeting you again, inshallah, as our Monspire team. Inshallah. Thank you very much for coming, Lubna, you and the rest of the team. I hope to welcome you some other time along with some guests. Inshallah. And everybody is welcome as long as they are planning with us. Yeah, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.